Hello, good morning and welcome. Here we are today at Blackmore Cops and this is for hot wildlife photography here in the UK. Um, because we don't just give up in this country when it gets hot. It doesn't get that hot that often in the UK, but when it does, we like to take advantage of it. And that's why we're here today at Blackmore Cops, a nice shaded area um, where we can work away all day long if we want to. But uh, yeah, how we photograph when it gets hot. So followers of Camilla and I will be pleased to note that the first thing we ditch is the hat. And we go for a more summer variety of hat, more encompassing, more shade for the whole head. So uh, yep, yeah. some people will be glad to see that. Okay, yeah, so uh, most important today is the litre of water. We're going in, going out for a couple of hours, but uh, we still need water. German Army mat, of course, and here we have the monopod with the 90mm macro and Sony A2 for some beginner wildlife photography. But we're possibly today, we're hoping to get some dragonflies and uh, we're hoping to get some dragonflies in flight. So I'm taking a medium set of legs with the PH30 gimbal head and we have the unfair advantage, the Sony A1 with the 200 to 600 millimeter. So we're taking that as well. If it was really hot and I was only going for the one subject and uh, I would stick to macro and I'd just stick with the one lens and just carry that around with no equipment whatsoever. No need to carry all this gear. But because you're here, I'm carrying all this gear. Ooh. Yeah, so we're keeping walking and effort down to a minimum today. That's why we're packing the trolley. And uh, the idea is to just do a two hour spell because we don't really want to be out here for hours because it is the mercury is really starting to hit the metal. The temperatures are rising here in the UK. And uh, this weekend, for example, it could be as high as 90 degrees, which whew, that's hot for the UK. Ooh. So the advantage of uh, being to an area before, um, this is why we do regular repeat visits to places we know well, because uh, we know where to park. Ooh. Well, I thought we did. It's the other way around. <laughs> yeah, gone in the direct wrong direction. What a wally. Um, yeah, <laughs> already wasting energy. And that's what we try and avoid. Try and avoid wasting energy. Don't go to a new area that you've got no idea where to go. We know exactly where to park the car under the shade. And then, uh, yeah, we lost all sense of direction there. So uh, anyway, we're on the right track now. So we're uh, heading for the pond at Blackmoor Copse. So uh, Blackmore Cops, uh, one of the uh, earliest uh, Wiltshire Wildlife Trust nature reserves, and uh, yeah, I'm quite a uh, quite a hot spot. You get quite a few fritillary butterflies in the area. Quite nice, linked to the old fritillary. Um, but I particularly like the pond at Blackmore Cops because it's not that big, and. Uh, don't always get a great deal of dragonflies in it, but um, there's usually something to photograph. So, uh, fingers crossed, guys. <whistles> yeah, so here we are, guys. Blackmoor Cops, quick. King Charles Pond. Blackmoor Cops. I'll just give you a quick flip round. So uh, yeah, you can see it got this sort of notice board here. And then uh, yeah, King Charles Pond. 
and uh, yeah just seeing long tail tip yeah a little flock of long tail tip flying around there oh, quite cute and uh, yeah I've seen the, already seen the old uh, blue damsel fly so uh, yeah amazing okay guys so here we are King Charles Pond Blackmore Cops what a beautiful spot and uh, yeah we're in luck I've already seen a couple of dragonflies well as I mentioned earlier we're packing two systems today and uh, the first system we have is the uh, beginner wildlife setup the A72 with the 90 millimeter macro now we can take this round just handheld as it is which I would recommend in these conditions or we have the monopod which we could use as well as uh, extra support and indeed you could just walk around in the hot weather with this system just the 90 millimeter 90 millimeter macro and your camera because uh, this is an excellent way to reduce the weight and uh, have a nice easy time in the hot weather so, so the second system we're going to use is the 200 to 600 millimeter mounted on the gimbal head um, well or we could hand hold but uh, again it takes effort to hand hold in this weather so it's better to use a, uh, a gimbal setup or a video head or a ball head some sort of support with a pair of legs just saves the sheer physical effort of holding the camera in this weather and uh, we can use the 200 600 either with the sony a1 or we could use it with the a7 II. but as demonstrated earlier the a7 II basically you will get similar results although you'll have 25 less pixels per frame and um, you won't get as many shots sharp in focus as you would with the Sony A1 but you just have to shoot more and persevere more with the beginner setup the A7 II but the photography is exactly the same doesn't matter which camera you use you still use the same technique so we're using the 200 to 600 to zoom in on any dragonflies in the middle of the pond yeah so preparation is key we get as much done as we can in the shade out of the way of the sun snap the old hood on there and um, we will keep these on because we're close to the pond and we don't want this gear falling in the uh, in the drink so we'll now proceed to the edge of the pond and uh, see what we can get Yeah, so if you're going to be doing wildlife photography for any length of time, obviously it always pays to be as comfortable as possible. So, uh, yeah, we've also moved into play the Stealth Gear Trolley. Check out my review if you haven't seen the uh, Stealth Gear Trolley, because it also doubles as a seat. So, uh, yeah, we don't have to get hot and bothered sitting up on our knees. We can take it really easy with total luxury we can relax right so settings today um, exactly the same as for a uh, fast moving bird in flight at least two thousandths of a second uh, wide open which on this lens the 200 600 is f6.3 and i think we've got an iso coming in anywhere between a thousand and two thousand five hundred because of the variable light conditions sometimes we've got the sun shining on full and sometimes we've got a diffuse soft box so occasionally we'll also have to go to negative one or two on the exposure compensation dial anyway you always experiment around with that you never totally know um, i don't photograph these conditions every day so uh, but we'll soon find out what's exposed and what's underexposed to aid the focus speed i've switched the uh, on the lens bell I've gone from 2.4 meters to 10 meters because the dragonflies should be in this range to uh, photograph them so that should give me slightly more quicker autofocus 
um, important in these conditions. Yeah, so I'm trying to pick up the flight path of the dragonfly and uh, yeah, it takes some while to get your eye in to where they're going to go. Yeah, so it's just a question of getting comfortable and working out where they're going to move next. I mean, if you're really lucky, um, every now and then they do hover. So there's a good chance you'll get one in a good position, static, in midair, or appearing to move very slowly in midair. If they're coming towards you, they tend to uh, they tend to look like they're static for a long period of time. So uh, yeah, good time to shoot them. So we're going to pop round the edge of the pond now and see if we can get anything parked up. Um, I'm not sure there's anything that isn't actually in motion, but uh, because it's so hot. So this is quite a good little spot down here I usually find. Uh, usually get my feet wet at this point, but uh, yeah. Yeah, on these uh, long stalks here, butterflies abound as well. But uh, yeah, we've got the uh, blue damselflies just flying off there. A common peacock butterfly just in the middle there, feasting on the brambles. Well, that's nice. We've got the uh, peacock with the wings wide open with the A72 and the 90mm macro. So uh, yeah, sh link to that one quite nice. Well that's enough of that walking around with the uh, ooh, 90 millimeter macro and the uh, A7 II. Ooh. Yeah to get the peacock was quite nice but um, yeah back to the nice static position and a drink of water and uh, one of the things you may have noticed is um, we've cut down on the old coffee and uh, in general now I've uh, limited myself to uh, two cups in the morning um, because apparently coffee has a uh, in-body life of up to 12 hours so it could still keep you awake at uh, oh, 11, 12 o'clock at night. It's got a quarter shelf life after 12 hours. After six hours it's a uh, half, half life to keep you awake. So um, anyway, apparently it causes fatigue. So we've moved on to water on Camilla and I. And the other thing we're doing in this hot weather is wearing the long sleeve shirt. This is a Craig Hopper mozzie free shirt and also a sun reflective shirt. So uh, we're protected all round. And these are um, again proper trousers. These are uh, Craig Hopper anti mosquito trousers as well. This is because of ticks, particularly in this country. So, uh, yeah, as well as being cool and keeping your whole body protected from the sun, yeah, we are also protected from ticks, although we'll stop, we probably still jump in the shower when we get home. Yeah, so don't forget, keep taking regular drinks when it gets hot. Absolutely essential. Yeah, so if you're patient enough, often you get a bit of uh, egg laying activity with these uh, dragonflies um, but uh, yeah so uh, linked to a bit of uh, egg laying but, uh, so it really is tricky picking these guys up in flight and um, yeah you can hand hold which is um, you know in some respects it's a better technique because um, you will get more successful shots but of course in this weather it's hard work so uh, we tend to use the gimbal um, just through sheer ease of use. But, uh, anyway, amazing. We all know wildlife photography is really difficult. So uh, if it was easy, we wouldn't do it. So uh, yeah, to get shots like these, you really have to uh, persevere. And uh, yeah, got some lovely egg laying activity and um, in-flight shots in the end. So uh, yeah, it pays to come out in the hot weather. The dragonfly is definitely out, if nothing else. So, uh, anyway, beautiful subject, and um, yeah, we like it hot. So, uh, yeah, don't give up just because it's hot. So, uh, yeah, 
wildlife photography in the hot weather. Have a good one. Bye from Camilla and I.